All right, so good morning, Natalie, and good morning, Annalise at Nat's Home Furnishings, and all the ladies in there. You know, listen, it's a really cool place. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not a guy who goes looking for home furnishings, but I did go in there a couple of Saturdays ago, and I was blown away by what I saw. So here we are with not necessarily the news this morning. Well, we're not going to talk about the budget because that's, there's ample time for, for other people to talk about that and for market vendor and others to, to weigh in on, on those matters. I want to take you internationally now for a story. Mm -hmm. A model has filed a complaint. Are you listening to this, Rebecca? Yep. Yep. She's filed a complaint against the carmaker Hyundai, claiming she was fired from a job because it was that time of the month and she was having her period. Rachel Rickert, who's 27, says she was shamed while representing the brand at a New York International Auto Show in April of this year. She says she made clear that she needed a toilet break, but was told it was too busy a time. She did not make it in time to change her, you know, her things. And Hyundai Motor America says it is investigating the allegations. She said she needed to change her underwear and tights and told the talent rep, Erica Seifred, what had happened. She later got a text from Ms. Seifred saying that the client, Hyundai, wanted her to take the night off. The model told the BBC that she resisted saying she would rather stay as she was being paid by the hour. She went to work the next day, April the 14th, as normal, and says the rep then called on April the 15th, the following day, saying that Hyundai no longer wanted her to work at the show because they heard about her period. I was completely puzzled, she told the BBC. I was really upset. I started crying. I book out shows and I miss other opportunities. So this was like, what? This is not right. She's made a discrimination complaint to the U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, Equal Employment Opportunity Commission against Hyundai and against her boss, Ms. Seifred, and the management firm, Experimental, Experi, Experiential Talent. Ms. Seifred told the BBC she did not wish to comment. Well, I wouldn't if, if it's going to court, right? The model was taken part in 50 similar conventions so she felt very shamed by by the brand's behavior. What do you make of that, Rebecca? It's not nice if it's true. That's that's the key. Yeah. That's the key. Now, is it true? And if it is true, I think it's absolutely disgraceful. Yeah. Uh, if it's not true, well, that's a whole other other thing. It's, it becomes a he say she say kind of thing, and so on. But she said she would, felt shamed by the brand's alleged behavior. Well, you know, it's not the brand directly that would have made the decision, but apparently it would have been this uh, uh, talent agency, shall we say, who booked her. Yeah. But there you have it. That's, uh, that's not one you're going to hear as the headlines of breaking news, CNN, you know, with Wolf Blitzer or something like that, is it? You wouldn't see that story, but it's a very important story, yeah. right? Because you cannot have discrimination based on, uh, you know, the normal bodily function of the feminine body. Well, there you have it. That's not necessarily the news. And that was brought to you by our friends, where, Rebecca, at? Nat's Home Furnishings. Nat's Home Furnishings Nats up there in Warrens. Stop the recording.